Two local folks are getting their unemployment benefits after enduring more than four months with no income. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco checks back in with Matthew Games and Sarah Hess. This is part of our commitment to help the community rebound from the financial fallout due to the coronavirus pandemic. Every day people email me saying they're having trouble getting their unemployment benefits, benefits they earned, and I usually do have success with fixing the mix ups. Here are two people that really caught your attention. Remember the flame throwing mom, Sarah Hess? <laughs> The festival performer was worried about feeding her five year old when I introduced you. So I've had news back to back to back and I'm talking medically, I'm talking career uh, arenas. She suffered four months with no income because Ohio flagged her unemployment insurance claim for fraud when she moved to Kentucky until she found me. I told Jobs and Family Services the mix up and Hess expects $5,000 to hit her bank account tomorrow. Everything I went from pending for my each week confirmations to pay, 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 pay for 16 weeks. What's more? I'm not just a fire throwing mama, <laughs> but there is a pretty high end company that's asking me to be a jewelry setter. Matthew Games has two job interviews this week. He lost his job in banking in April because of the pandemic, unexplainably stopped getting unemployment benefits in October, unsuccessful job interviews. I told the Kentucky Labor Cabinet. He reached out to a state representative, no change. I told the governor's team, Monday, $2,000 went into his bank account. He expects 3,000 more. I know a lot of other people have are in much more dire straits than I. I mean, it's like that's long. You've given us something to believe in. They went above and beyond what was required to get benefits the government agrees they earned. These two say they cannot stay home during the pandemic and risk the system failing them again. Oh, and don't be surprised if you see new fire tricks from Hess. She's booking festivals again. Ohio is getting the private sector involved in an effort to remedy its failures. Kentucky has added a job search feature to the system. Reporting from the banks, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.